Hello friends, I am Dr. Shweta and you are watching my channel Ayurveda Ayushaveda. In last video, we have learned about the fundamentals of reproduction. Today, we will see about the interstitial implantation. I request you all to like, share and subscribe my video and channel. So, zona pellucida, the outer layer of the blastocyst which prevent the attachment of the zygote in the fallopian tube will disappear as the blastocyst enters into the uterine cavity and the trophoblastic cells will get attached to the endometrium these are the outermost layer of the blastocyst which get attached to the endometrium which is called as implantation so the process of attachment of the blastocyst to the uterine wall is implantation and this is the stroma of the uterus and this is the endometrial epithelium. The trophoblastic cells have a special tendency to attach to the surface in which they come in contact. So after in implantation the blastocyst will start to invade into the endometrium due to the action of these uh, trophoblastic cells it will start to invade into the uterine wall that is into the endometrium so by the end of 12th day of fertilization the blastocyst which is having the trophoblastic cells as outer covering will completely embedded into the uterine wall that is endometrium and now this is called as interstitial implantation after that the trophoblastic cells will get divide, differentiated into two types that is first one is cytotrophoblast and this one second one is sensitive trophoblast after embedding into the endometrium the trophoblast is differentiated into cytotrophoblast and sensitive trophoblast and then there will be formation of amniotic cavity and yolk sac there will be formation of amniotic cavity and yolk sac in the blastocyst and from this point the development of embryo and placenta will start